Hi everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Tuesday the 6th of April. We begin our time together as always with our opening prayer. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, it was not just you who was broken that day that you hung on the cross. It was your disciples too, their hearts broken just as surely, their dreams and hopes snuffed out, their faith cut from beneath them and laid to rest. It was not just you who rose again that day you emerged from the tomb, it was your disciples too, their hearts beating once more with joyful anticipation, their vision for the future reborn, their faith rekindled, bursting into unquenchable flame. Come to us now where we are broken, where love has died, where hope has faded, where faith has grown cold. Reach out and touch us in body, in mind and in spirit, and help us to walk in the newness of life which you alone can bring. For we ask this in your holy name. Amen. Luke chapter 24 On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the women took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground, but the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here. He has risen. Remember how he told you, while he was still with you in Galilee, the Son of Man must be delivered over to the hands of sinners, be crucified, and on the third day be raised again. Then they remembered his words. When they came back from the tomb, they told all these things to the eleven and to all the others. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the others with them who told this to the apostles. But they did not believe the women, because their words seemed to them like nonsense. Peter, however, got up and ran to the tomb. Bending over, he saw the strips of linen lying by themselves and he went away wondering to himself what had happened. Our first reading today was taken from Luke's account of that first Easter morning. And we celebrate the feeling of those who discover the empty tomb for the first time as we sing together, Alleluia, Alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Jesus is 
Psalm 136 Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures for ever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures for ever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. His love endures for ever. To him who alone does great wonders. His love endures for ever. Who by his understanding made the heavens. His love endures for ever. Who spread out the earth upon the waters. His love endures for ever. Who made the great lights. His love endures for ever. The sun to govern the day. His love endures for ever. The moon and stars to govern the night. His love endures for ever. To him who struck down the firstborn of Egypt. His love endures for ever. And brought Israel out from among them. His love endures for ever. With a mighty hand and outstretched arm. His love endures for ever. To him who divided the Red Sea asunder, His love endures for ever, And brought Israel through the midst of it, His love endures for ever. But swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea, His love endures for ever. To him who led his people through the wilderness, His love endures for ever. To him who struck down great kings, his love endures for ever, and killed mighty kings. His love endures for ever. Sihon, king of the Amorites, his love endures for ever, and Og, king of Bashan, his love endures for ever, and gave their land as an inheritance. His love endures for ever, an inheritance to his servant Israel. His love endures for ever. He remembered us in our low estate, His love endures for ever, and freed us from our enemies, His love endures for ever. He gives food to every creature, His love endures for ever. Give thanks to the God of heaven, His love endures for ever. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we rejoice today in the good news of your resurrection. You met with Mary in the garden, bringing laughter after tears. You met with women returning from the tomb, bringing confidence after confusion. You met with Cleopas on the Emmaus road, bringing hope after dismay. You met with the apostles in a room barred against the world, bringing joy after sorrow. You met with Thomas in his disbelief, bringing faith after doubt. You met with Paul on his way to Damascus, bringing love after hatred. You met with countless generations across the centuries, bringing renewal after rejection. Meet with us now, in this day, at this moment, bringing light after darkness. Fill our hearts with the new life of Easter, until that day when with all your people we enter your kingdom, and rejoice in the wonder of your love for all eternity. For it is in your name we pray. Amen.